this is Kilo Juliet 6, Golf Hotel November. And to, in today's video, we're going to go over how to set up macros. So click on Options and then Macros. And here are all my macros for my everyday use. All right, so over here in the Macro Set area, you'll see that we have Default, PSK, Everyday Use, you know, TTY. That's where I set up all my specific presets for my macros. If you notice the default ones which I'm on right now you cannot edit the default ones it will not stay. You can use them just as they are but you can't make them your own. Alright so I am set on default right now. If I want to create a whole new batch of macros specifically for me what I would do is go to drop down and choose set six. All right, so now you have total blank and it's new. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to name it test when I clicked on the title. So this is, and it renamed it to test. Now I have a, that in the drop down area. All right, so now what I've done, I've created the menu and then I'm going to go to import and I'm going to import the defaults. It says add defaults to test. All right, so I just brought in all the program defaults into here and I can now modify them as much as I would like to or as little as I'd like to. So let me give you some tips here. You have your call CQ, your reply, info, and closing remarks, which all interact with these those are your groups. So I have my calling CQ, I have my reply, if I want to send just general info, and here is the closing. So the ones you have checked will be the ones that will show up on your bar. So let's start with editing this one. Here's CQ. Here's what it's going to say. It's going to say CQ, this is your call sign, your call sign, and that's what it's going to say. So that's what I would normally name as short CQ. And then I would go over here and save it. And you can, I don't want that one, I don't want that one. All right, reply. Here's where I opened it up. That's a short reply. All right, and it goes in the reply group. You have your various groups that you can choose from. All right, so I like that one, so I'll keep that one. So I, I think you get their picture on doing those. Now you're closing. Here it is. So his name, his call sign, this is your call sign. K. K is a stop. You have to put stop at the end so it will not keep transmitting. So there we go. And you notice that on the side over here, all the ones that I've unchecked or boom are gone. So I have three short ones. All right so you notice that in here it says your call sign. I'll show you later where it's pulling that information from. You will set that information up when you originally set up the program. So if you want to do a complete one from scratch you click the new button. Here's a new macro. You name it test Oops, can't type today. And a test, and it's going to be a call. So what you can do is put, mm, these are your tags for you, and these are the tags are going to go to the other individual. So you're going to put your call sign, and then you'll put this is, and then it'll be his call sign. And you click OK. Alright, so that was your basic information. So we're going to open it up by double clicking on it again. 
And we can do other things to here. If you put a K that there, and then we can go ahead and, gee, let's see, we'll go over here to special tags, and we'll put a stop in there, because if you don't put a stop, it'll keep transmitting. This tells the, the system to, to stop transmitting. Uh, there are a bunch of other little tags. You can put erase in. That way, when you're done transmitting, it'll automatically erase the screen. And obviously, every time you click OK, it saves the information. So, you have a lot of different items you can choose from. Like, I can put in my QTH, and it'll tell them what my QTH is. And you have weather and temperature your radio information and it'll put in your club information your antenna so you can add all those um, here's some general samples that they have they'll help you out and they have a whole bunch of general information all right so we're going to pick close all righty and then we're going to go over here and click OK All right, so we just clicked out of our macros, and this is our main main screen. So what we're going to do here is here's where all of our info is. We're going to click on call sign my info, and you're entering your call sign, your name, your locator, your your QTH, and you can put these as detailed as you want. You know, you put your club and all your information in there, and then what what it does down here is it puts in the, the program information that it'll transmit out for you. So you notice it doesn't have an OK or a done, so you have to click the X in the upper right hand corner to get out of this area. So you might be asking, well where is it pulling all this information from? Remember, you put the individual's call sign in there when you first start it, and it's pulling your call sign for where you set the area you just set it up. So that's how these macros, you know, here you go. It's pulling my call signs out because I don't have any call sign in here. Here's a short CQ. Now it's setting CQ, CQ, and it's saying this is, and I have to stop it. There we go. Now if I would have let it stop, you'll see the stop here. It would have stopped itself automatically. And there you go. So this is Lisa. It'll pull this area here. It's pulling my name because my name's in the general information. But if you have John Jake's name here, it'll fill that in. So so back to John, his call sign, your call sign, and then it'll stop. All right, so that's just some basics on HRD Digital Master 780 macros. This is Kilo Juliet 6, Golf Hotel November, signing off, 73, and have a good day.